what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today we're back here at the uh, red zone shop in Antioch California and we have the wagon currently on the dyno we got guys in the car we got Jeremy in Hawaii and they are prepping the car to uh, get this dyno session rolling so the reason why the car is back here on the dyno is because if you guys um, have been following the like rebuild of the wagon going to Irwindale and uh, coming back home I've talked about the turbo spooling really early and the turbo spooling super early is causing an interference with the VTEC map and uh, it's running lean in that um, that part of the map so the turbo is a Garrett GT 3076 and the back housing is an 83 which is still too small for the K series. So what I did was I installed a 106 back housing in hopes of bringing the spool a little bit up the RPM away from VTEC so it doesn't interfere with each other. And that is the reason why we're back here on the dyno. We are back here to have them fine tune the new back housing because it's the, the later spool. And we're also going to start add timing into the tune because Jeremy had taken all the timing out so we can uh, make the car safe to go to Irwindale and back. The trip is now over. So we're pretty much back here to make two maps, one for street driving, conservative, gas, MPG, and then one for, you know, for turn up. So uh, driving here, I do notice that the turbo does not spool at 4,500 like full boost anymore. It actually spools later, but I didn't really like lay into it only because I don't know if the AFR changed, but I definitely noticed that the spool is further up the RPM. So that's good. Uh, I'm hoping to make the same power as last time, if not more, but I'm not gonna keep my hopes up. I just want this car to make a little bit more power so we can go fast this upcoming weekend. Uh, the car is gonna go to the track in two days, uh, Sacramento Raceway CMI Spring Jam, I believe it is, and uh, based off the time slip at Irvindale, I mean, that track was also pretty prepped. Based off the time slip, this car has a low 12, high 11 possibility with the way it sits right now, but we're gonna turn it up so we can ensure to touch 11s. That's my goal is to touch 11s. And uh, the fastest this car has gone front wheel drive is 12.5 on slicks with bogging issues and no two step actually. And the fastest it went all wheel drive is 12.2 uh, bogging and no two step. So we have two step again and we're gonna situate the spool bogging issue with VTEC and uh, take it back to the track on Sunday.
week has been super hot. Today is like 85 and it's hotter inside the shop. So we're letting it cool off real quick before we do some more pulls. Like I said, it did on the spool up. So you said the spool is at six thousand now. Well, start like starts the spool. It starts the spool early, yeah. but but that full ramping full. is not until like six grand, six thousand. So with the one hundred six back housing, the spool starts about the same time forty five forty five five thousand, but full boost is six k. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Um, that was. 12, 9, 13 pounds up top, and the car just made 407, 270 is what it says? Yeah, 407, 270. Yeah. 407, 270. But we crossed 400, so. Uh, we're right here for the shebang bang. Shebang bang. <laughs> That's a little bit louder than before. I'll tell you that much. God damn. That, that's super rowdier than before, 100%. That sounds way crazier than before. 100%. I mean, it makes, it makes right about 11 pounds on the hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost 12. Almost 12, yeah. Wow. How high was that going this time? Uh, Jeremy has said uh, 68, 72. So. Yeah, that's about where we were at last time. That's why it sounds so much rowdier. God damn, boy, 11 pounds off the hole. That is crazy, dude. That's literally like all the boost out the hole. Literally. <laughs> It, this is gonna be hella gnarly, I, I think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. Track is in two days, guys. I definitely do want to situate the exhaust because it is bouncing all over the place. One of the hangers broken, and uh, we made 400, a little over 400 horsepower. I'm content with it. So, yes, sir. We are done, and uh, Nomus Industry is actually on his way over here. They're gonna be dynoing their track car as well. And we're we're gonna wrap up the wagon here. wasn't enough so you got to step up to the next class and add weight and return back to the dyno to make some power <laughs> uh, 
here on the dyno here with red zone and uh nomis is here with wolverine which was the eg you guys saw and uh the, the funny thing is they do competitive racing right and the class you guys were in nomis was 180 horsepower so they were here tuning a k24a to 180 horsepower it just didn't feel right so you guys stepped up to the next class added in weight and then it also has a bracket for horsepower so they tuned the car to 210 for that class and uh literally hit it on the spot 210 211 depending on the temperature but consistently 210 and they're pretty much ready to rumble so we're about to head home we're going to be driving in the same direction and we split off like a little bit halfway home so um, I want to give a big shout out to Red Zone, Jeremy and Guy for putting in the like, I literally requested to get on the dyno like two days ago and we're here at the dyno and we got the car tuned, the car made a little bit more power and it, it, it feels pretty rowdy. The, the back housing definitely helped the spool go up further up the RPMs and I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked to take this thing to the track in two days and uh, you know, big shout out to guy think jeremy once again because you know they knocked the tune out of the ballpark um we kind of play with timing a little bit on my car but also still keeping it safe because of pump gas for one and um it is a high compression engine right so at the end of the day we crossed 400 i'm happy and the wolf rain car made its power they're ready for their uh what is it national championship crazy man these guys do some real like endurance racing and competitive racing but um hopefully we'll step into that ballpark soon but big shout out to red zone and we're about to head home it is friday night hoping to catch somebody on the freeway because every time i drive my car i never do let's get to it can you guys believe it 80 plus miles not a single car in sight that's crazy.